Welcome to the Buccaneers Observer. This is Ralph Phillips. Got some bad news today at training camp. Ryan Jensen got a knee injury and was carted off the field. Now, as it stands, we do not have any further information on this. He's getting an MRI done, uh, but the sounds of it, it was pretty bad. Uh, doesn't look good. Uh, I've got video here that we're going to do a breakdown on and try and figure out exactly what happened. Now, I'm not sure where this video originated from. I tried to trace it back, but the original uploader appears to have deleted it, and I couldn't find out who that person was. Uh, if you know who this video belongs to, let me know and uh, put it in the comments, please. Uh, so let's get to this and, and do a quick breakdown. So see what we got. Okay, it starts off. We got Tom Brady in the shotgun. We're going to see right here, this is... Donovan Smith and Shaq Barrett are locked up. I don't know if you can see right here is Stinney. And this is number 90, Logan Hall. We're going to go frame by frame. And you can see Stinney matches up with Hall and pushes him to the inside. You can see Jensen is right here. He is locked up with Vita Vea. Vita Vea goes to Jensen's right. Logan Hall goes to Stinney's right. Now Stinney pushes Hall right into Jensen's knee. You see it right here? And he ends up rolling up on it and falling down right there. Here's Jensen. You can see him. Just getting rolled up on and we're going to watch this and listen to it in real time so we're gonna play this all the way through with audio and you will hear Ryan Jensen is not very happy Jensen just threw his helmet. So guys, there you have it. Logan Hall, number 90, was pushed into Ryan Jensen's legs by number 64, Aaron Stinney, causing Jensen to be carted off the field during practice today, July 28th, 2022. It looks to me like it was kind of a you know miscommunication part and a little bit of rookie excitement. Uh, Logan Hall and Stinney both are playing, you know, Stinney is playing where Ellie Marpet is used to be. Marpet and Jensen have played together since Jensen has been here. Uh, so, you know, they have not figured out working together yet. And Logan Hall, I mean, I'm not blaming anybody on this, but, you know, Logan Hall come in a little hard, got tripped up, got rolled up on the back of Jensen's knee. Now, the bad thing about this is, you know, besides the fact that, you know, Jensen is uh, our starting center, but he is our tone setter on the offense. Uh, he's a tough guy. He plays through the whistle. He is uh, frustrates the hell out of opponents. And, you know, he is kind of the leader of our offensive line. Now, without him, and, and we don't know yet, you know, fingers crossed, this could be, you know, just a tweak. He might be out for a few days, whatever. Uh, but he's a tough guy. He has never missed a start for the Buccaneers. As a matter of fact, he hasn't missed a start since 2017 with the Ravens. He's a tough guy. He's always played through injury. But uh, if he cannot make it, it looks like we will be looking to sign a veteran to bring in. Uh, we could use Robert Hainsey. He's uh, the backup center right now. But chances are pretty good that, you know, if this injury is serious, 
uh, that we will look for a veteran center to sign. So I'm sure they're on the phones right now trying to figure that out. But as it stands right now, we have no word on Ryan Jensen's, the the extent of his injury. And uh, like I said, hopefully it'll be, you know, just something minor that hurt a lot. You know, Jensen's a tough guy. The way he went down, screams through his helmet. It just doesn't portend well. And the way all the players came over and surrounded him. Uh, so here it is. Hopefully, fingers crossed, everything's fine. Uh, we should have some more news on that tomorrow. But until next time, go Bucks.